Hi, in this short video tutorial, I'll demonstrate you how easy it is to add a Wi-Fi development board for measuring temperature and humidity to Home Assistant using the Auto Discovery option for MQTT components. Home Assistant is an open source home automation platform written in Python 3. It's compatible with Linux, Mac OS and Windows. There are more than 1000 components for integration with existing on the market devices. Home Assistant is the perfect platform to be installed on a Raspberry Pi. There are two ways to do it. One way is to use the Hasbian GNU Linux distribution which is based on Raspbian or the new more modern and recommended way is to use Has.io and the Has.os. MQTT is a machine-to-machine near real-time communication protocol. It uses publish subscribe transport via MQTT brokers of numerous messages. There are a lot of open source MQTT brokers as well as MQTT client implementations that you can integrate in your application. Home Assistant has an excellent support for MQTT and there is even an add-on that installs the popular MQTT broker Mosquito. For this tutorial I'll be using a Wi-Fi development board powered by ESP8266 that I have designed with KiCad. It is called Anavi Thermometer and it has DHT22 sensor for temperature and humidity. The default open source firmware is provided as an Arduino sketch which is available at GitHub. In order to easily add Anavi Thermometer to Home Assistant there are several requirements that you should cover. First of all you need to install Home Assistant. Second you need to install an MQTT broker and third you need to flash the latest firmware for Anavi Thermometer from GitHub and connect it to your Wi-Fi network and the MQTT broker. I will be using Raspberry Pi 0W and Anavi Thermometer. I have installed Hasayo image on the micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi 0. After that, I've installed and enabled the SSH plugin as well as the Mosquito broker and configured uh, username and password for accessing the Mosquito broker and the topics on it. On first boot of Anavi Thermometer, it creates a Wi-Fi access point to which you can connect from your computer or smartphone and then you can configure how Anavi Thermometer should connect to your Wi-Fi network by providing the name of the Wi-Fi network and its password as well as to configure the MQTT broker. In this example, the MQTT broker is installed locally on the Raspberry Pi Zero, therefore I am setting the IP address of the Raspberry Pi Zero W within my Wi-Fi network. I'm also setting the username and the password to the MQTT broker. There are numerous high quality tutorials in the internet how to install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi and how to set up an MQTT broker. Therefore, I'll not focus on these topics in details. Now, open Home Assistant in your web browser and go to Configuration. Click on Integrations and then click the icon to add a new integration for MQTT. Provide the credential for the MQTT broker. This includes the IP address of the broker that is installed in the same machine, the port, the username and the password. Remember to click on Enable Discovery. As soon as you successfully connect to the MQTT broker, it will discover Anavi Thermometer. Just click Finish and Anavi Thermometer will appear on the overview page of your Home Assistant. It's easy as pie. Let's perform some tests for quality assurance. Using a hair dryer, I'm increasing the temperature. Anavi Thermometer reports real-time data to Home Assistant. You can see how the temperature and the humidity changes over the time. The default firmware of Anavi Thermometer supports the Home Assistant feature for auto discovery. Therefore, everything is super easy and works out of the box. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial about Home Assistant. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos.